Welcome to eCarb Trainings. Here we are going to discuss about use case diagrams. What is a use case? Use case is a formal way of representing how a business system interacts with its environment. Use case illustrates the activities that are performed by the users of the system. A sequence of actions a system performs that yields a valuable result for a particular actor. Use cases describe scenarios that describe the interaction between users of the system and the system itself. Purpose of a use case The purpose of a use case is to describe a function a user will perform using the target system. A user can be a human user or another system that is connected to the target system. To make our lives easier we call a human user and those other systems actors. To uncover and describe all tasks that will be done in the system. The use cases must will depict all the functional requirements of the system in a pictorial fashion. Elements of a use case. Use case. Here, labeled using a descriptive verb noun phrase. Use case, represented by an oval. Communication arrow, represent communication between actor, and, use case. Depicted by line or double-headed arrow line, these lines also called association relationship. Coming to actor element, person which uses the system is called actor. Add and coming to boundary element, a system boundary of a use case diagram defines the limits of the system. The system boundary is shown as a rectangle spanning all the use cases in the system. The system boundary is potentially the entire system as defined in the problem statement. Sample use case diagram models a dialogue between an actor and the system. Represents the functionality provided by the system. A use case diagram is a visual representation of the relationships between actors and use cases together that documents the system's intended behavior. For preparing a use case, we need use case packages, use case diagrams, identify actors, complete verbal description, identify variants, exceptions, start and end conditions. Always begin by making a stakeholder analysis. A good way of discovering new use cases. A high degree of confidence that all relevant use cases are included. Draw use case packages. When draw use case packages for each business process. Base it on the processes, we conclude that, has a thorough stakeholder analysis been done? Put all actors for each business process on the packages coming to draw use case diagrams. When we draw use case diagrams for each package, we conclude that which of the process diagram activities are relevant to the solution? An activity in a process corresponds to a use case? What functions will the actor want from the system? Does the system store information? What actors will create, read? update or delete this information. Does the system need to notify an actor about chances in the internal state? Are there any external events the system must know about? What actor informs the system of those events? Coming to identify actors. For identify torsing use case, for each use case. We conclude some questions, those are who, or what initiates the use case? Split the actors into roles, not for example according to organizational dependence. Any specializations of an actor? Split the actors into those that initiates, triggers, a use case, and those that are passive actors, for example received data. Who uses the system? Who installs the system? Who starts up the system? Who maintains the system? Who shuts down the system? What other systems use this system? Who gets information from this system? Who provides information to the system? Does anything happen automatically at a present time? Complete verbal description for each use case. And here, we have to found that. 
What is the purpose of the use case? What needs to be done for the use case to begin? And, describe the steps in the use case. What does the actor do? How does the system react? What is the result of the use case? The description typically includes, the use case name, purpose, actors, start conditions, description of the use case steps, any exceptions, any variance, and, and conditions. That is, result identify all variance, and, exceptions, and firm up the start and end conditions. Though, what alternative routes would, complete the use case? Any exceptions that would, make the use case stop? Review the start and end. Conditions once again. Are they precise and well defined? Have all variants been considered? Includes, here, you have a piece of behavior, that is similar across many use cases. Break this out as a separate use case, and, let the other ones include it. For example, we need to capture the customer's details. Following detailed analysis, we may find that there are other use cases where we also need to record the customer's details. So as long as the steps required to capture the customer's details are not trivial, it becomes more economic to extract them into a separate flow, which we may call, identify customer. Include relationship explained. When use case, identify customer, basic flow is like this, actor enters search criteria surname and postcode. System displays matching customers. Actor selects customer. System displays customer details. Actor confirms customer. When use case, take customer order. Basic flow is like this. Actor records customer details. Include. Actor enters code for product required. System displays product details. Actor enters quantity required. Actor enters payment details. System saves customer order. Coming to, extends relationship. Extends, a use case is similar to another one, but does a little bit more. The extend relationship allows us to, modify the behavior of the base use case. Put the normal behavior in one use case, and, the exceptional behavior somewhere else. Capture the normal behavior. Capture the exceptional cases in separate use cases. Extends, makes it a lot easier to understand. Extends relationship. Suppose we want to sell products, that are made to order, and, require a degree of customer specification. For these products we will need to record the customer's additional requirements, such as size and color. In this case, we are adding something extra to the flow of the base use case. The extend relationship says that, we execute the primary use case, but when we get to a specified point in the flow, if the right conditions are met, we perform some different steps. When to use use cases. In short, always. Requirements gathering the toughest, and, most important part of software development. Use cases is a powerful tool to understand. Who your users are that is, including interacting systems, what functions the system shall provide, how these functions work at a high level, spend adequate time on requirements, and, in the elaboration phase. For more details on this topic, and for supporting details, please visit www.ecartrainings.com or contact on ecarp trainings. Dial from USA to us on, plus 1703445 Dial from India to us on, plus 918143111555. Dial from UK to us on, plus 442034680685. Or, email us at training at ecartrainings.com. Thank you.